about to blow up a huge balloon. Exhale all your sleepiness into it, and then... Poof! It's now flying away. Wish me luck!
Traveler in Paimon, are you here for some shopping too? That's right. Although there were a few hiccups here and there, the sub Festival turned out to be a grand success. And so, the theater wants to host a celebration event. Do you two want to come? It'll be a really fun time. It's something like a tradition of ours. Rehearsals are exhausting. If you keep your nose to the grindstone, you're going to wipe yourself out sooner or later. Mr. Zubair, our manager, always says that celebrations aren't just for fun, but that they should also be occasions for reflection and review. <laughs> but no one remembers that once the celebration starts. It's not like he can't also have some fun himself. We've been to a lot of festivals during our adventures. Will your celebration also have a- Of course. We always do lots of eating, toasting, and gift exchanging. We try really hard to show our appreciation for everyone. Ah, so we'll need to bring a present. Hey, Paimon's gonna put you in a box first! <laughs> it's fine. No need to stress, Paimon. You can come, present or not. The gift exchange is just to make the celebration more entertaining. You two being there would be the best gift of all. It'll also be a good time to introduce you to the rest of the theater. Is something up? Yeah. But for now, it's more important for her to rest and recover. I tried to visit her, but I got turned away at the door. The people there wouldn't listen to a single word I said. All I could do was to leave a letter encouraging her to get some rest and keep her spirits up. She'll be better soon. And then we can celebrate together at the theater. It's all thanks to you and Milu that we managed to save Dunyarzad. You're way too modest. Just now, I actually felt really self-conscious when Paimon talked about us in the same breath. Compared to you, I really didn't do much at all. <laughs> anyway, all that aside, are you thinking about coming to our event? Paimon thinks it'll be a great time! What do you think, Traveler? Alright, then let's head to the theater. Wait, I completely forgot about this pile of stuff! Whoa, did you buy all of this, Milu? Just one box. The rest were given to me. I really don't know how it came to- That's way too many freebies! Many vendors give out samples for free, but Paimon's never seen this much! All I know is that whenever I start chatting with people, my hands would get more and more full until I can't hold everything anymore. This seems I was planning on making a few trips to bring everything back before continuing on with my shopping. But I don't think I'll have the time. So this isn't even all of it? Uh, are you sure? Of course! Carrying stuff is a piece of cake for him! Uh, I'm so sorry to trouble you like this. I meant to invite you to our celebration, but now you're helping me instead. <sighs> well, let's hurry up and grab the last few things. Oh, well, if it isn't Nilu. Greetings, Mr. Jute. Do you still have any food that's ready to go? Of course I do. I've heard that Zubair Theater is hosting a celebration event. Although, it looks like you're going to need two more portions. Ah, 
Please allow me to introduce them. This and this is Paimon. No, no, no. Paimon is... Uh, hold on. She got it completely right. Look, Traveler, she... <laughs> Don't underestimate Nilu. She always remembers every last little detail about everyone, even if it sounds completely trivial. She's also very brave. Just a little while ago, she saved my precious spices from the jaws of a sumter beast. Uh, don't think anything of it. I just help out when I can because everyone else takes such good care of me. Anyway, sorry to get off topic. We're in a bit of a hurry. Mr. Jute, did you say you didn't reserve enough food? <laughs> I was joking. Anyone who runs a business knows to keep some extra stock. After all, orders get changed all the time. Oh, that reminds me. It seems that these friends of yours aren't from here. Have they ever tried any delicious tachin? Ooh, what a fantastic idea! Mr. Jute, did you bake a batch recently? Tachin is a mixture of rice and meat that's baked into a cake-like shape. Mr. Jute adds special spices into his. Its aroma is just so wonderfully delicious. If you ever see kids crowding all around Mr. Jute's place, you know he's baking up a storm. <laughs> but is it really just for the kids? Don't you often follow them in, too? I... I just can't help myself. We're two peas in a pod! Who doesn't enjoy some good food? Wait here. I'll bring some over. Whoa, what a dish! It's sweet and sour and full of deliciousness! Paimon can't eat it fast enough! No matter how many times I eat it, it's still so delicious. <laughs> I wouldn't have offered it as a treat if I wasn't confident in the taste. I baked a lot just now, and it's all packaged and ready for you to take back to the theater. You made so much! Is it really okay to take them all? It was nothing. Making one serving or 100 servings is all the same to me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. What kind of person would I be if I made you pay for a treat? <laughs> Make sure you got everything. Feel free to come back any I'm on starting to understand how you got so many things. Nilu, good timing. I have the textiles you ordered. If you took any longer, the Sumter Beasts might have gobbled them up. <laughs> you and your jokes. Jude said that some Sumter Beasts ate his spices. Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah, really sorry about that. Nilu, if it weren't for you, I would have lost half of my profits that month. Trying to pull anything out of a Sumter Beast's mouth is like playing a game of tug-of-war. So they really do eat anything, huh? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Come now. You know, Sumter Beasts sometimes eat not because they're hungry, but because they like gnawing on things. The textiles you ordered are highly durable and woven from the finest thread. So even if a Sumter Beast got snacky, it'd still have to chomp on it for a full day. You've tested this before? But of course! How else could I be so trustworthy? Well, that one time was an accident. I wouldn't dare experiment with such a precious product. True, it does sound like some good fabric. Ho ho, have I piqued your interest? If you want to buy some, now's a good time. Buy two bolts and get 20% off. Ooh, that's a pretty good discount. What do you think, Traveler? No thanks, Mr. Offsheen. You can't use that kind of tactic on her. Look, you've already sucked her in. Uh, tactic? So you mean everything he just said to Paimon was a lie? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. It's just that Mr. Offsheen is really good at spinning stories. A word from him, and you'll find yourself buying things you don't actually need. Mr. Zubir gave me a huge lecture the last time I bought too many things. Come on, don't look at me like that. 
All she got was a talking to from Zubair, while I was nearly fed head first to the Sumter Beasts. My philosophy is that stories give value to merchandise. That's why my business started with such a boom. Our Nilu here is an extraordinarily good listener. Back then, she believed anything I said. After a while, I began to feel guilty selling things to her because of how happy she looked. Though she enjoyed the stories, and I the Mora, I knew she didn't need to buy that much. Anyway, since then, I've come to realize two things. One, that stories should just be a means instead of an end. And it's okay. We're all friends now. Hmm, that reminds me. Some of the goods from my latest shipment aren't in the best condition. They're fine for general use, but my customers have high standards, and I don't have the time or resources to find new buyers right now. Nilu, why don't you take them? Huh? No, 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 I can't do that. Just think of it as a favor for me, all right? The theater can use them for props and whatnot. It costs me more to store or ship, so I'm just losing money every day continuing to hold on to them. Even so, let me buy them at market value. Nah, these goods are hard movers. Besides, if I let you pay, wouldn't it mean that I'm just using stories to sell my goods again? Just take them. If you really feel that bad about it, give me some theater tickets later. Oh, yeah, you should also take some while you're at it. Adventurers are always in need of materials, right? Wow, e Hurry and take it. Just looking at it all is giving me a headache. <laughs> Thanks for the huge favor. There's still one more store. Are you all right holding on to that much stuff? Paimon? About time, Nilu. Farhad here was snooping around your props. Please, I was only looking at them to get a better idea of what your new sh- Wouldn't spoiling yourself just ruin all the fu- Yeah, please wait for our official performance. Hmm, these two look familiar. Ah, weren't they at the sub -Zeru's festival? Yeah. And they're coming to today, so... Oh, the more folks, the barrier. I was actually just talking to Farhat. Oh, yes, please do. I'm sure Miss Raycar and Miss Nadja... We even prepared a small gift. Let me show it to you. Ta-da! It's a flower wreath. I really think we should wear some of these to give the event a more celebratory feel. Wow. It's... Farhat did most of the work. What a surprise, huh? He actually knows a lot about crafts. That is pretty. Hey, why can't I have a little side hobby? I know, I know. I watched you make it. I wasn't making fun of you. All right. Why don't you also try some on? We've got some wreaths in your size. It fits perfectly. You're so pretty. Is it one that... Unfortunately, we already gave out all the child son. Fascinating. Huh. That sounds kind of weird, but my... Oh, you all sure got a lot of stuff there. Let me help you carry some. I'm a porter by trade, so this is what I'm best at. That'd be great! Please and thank you. But we have a... Pro Thanks for the help, Mr. Farhad. But let me make one thing clear first. Don't try to ask about what's in the new show. Otherwise, I may not be able to hold back Mr. Zubair this time. <laughs> You're so obvious that even Nilu saw right through you. Shut it. <sighs> Fine. It's not like I want to... Including Hushang's things, though. We'll each need to carry a box if we... Paimon looks like she doesn't want to, so I'll carry a little extra. Strength and balance are both really- No, no, let Paimon! Paimon- The Traveler's right, Paimon. <laughs> Paimon can't fly anymore! Are you okay, Paimon? Paimon's good to keep going! Oh, that sure was a lot of stuff. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Farhad. Thank you, Sumter Man. <sighs> all right, I'll leave you all to it. See ya. 
Good thing we had Mr. Farhad with us, or else that would have taken way longer. Of course, <laughs> because everyone's working here together. We're all like neighbors, so we're always helping each other out. It's easy to forget that everyone's running a business. With this many freebies being thrown at you, you probably don't need to work. <laughs> I felt so guilty at first, like I always owed someone something. I was always thinking of ways to repay others. Later on, I realized that it's actually like what Mr. Offsheen said. When you order the wrong item, or make too much of something, sometimes the best way to maximize the value of those goods is to give them away. That's why there's no need to stress over the freebies. All of us repay others by helping them when they need it. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. This has become our norm, and no one keeps track of the back and forth anymore. So really, don't worry about it. All right, I have to bring all this to Mr. Zubair and do a little bit of prep. Feel free to hang out here for a bit. It'd be nice if you could also get to know some other people at the theater. Nope. Mr. Zubair's really on top of everything. You two are our guests. So please, just relax and look forward to the celebration. Wow! The atmosphere here is so nice! Let's take a Hey there. I saw... Are you two also here? You got it! My name is Raycar. The little ones causing a ruckus are my children. They always get really excited every time we hold... Yes, they are. Everyone here takes great care of them. There's good work here, the pay's always on time, and Nilu and the others will often volunteer to... I'm quite content with this current way of life. Um, do you mean your life wasn't nearly as good before? It's all right. It's all water under... My husband and I were both adventurers, but he passed away from an accident. Material struggles can always be overcome, but, but I still consider myself lucky. Sorry for bringing up... Oh, it's all right. Once the event starts, you'll be able to see for yourself the kind of atmosphere I was talking about. Ah, uh, doesn't look too- Hey! Talk about judging a book by its co- You, on the other hand... Hmm... You're a special one. How would you describe the concept of... Oh, mere curiosity is all. It makes- So that's what you think, hmm? Unremarkable. Better than, is art a product that we create and bring- I, for one. I've been staying here for a long... I prefer to abstain from right. The existence of the theater, of Nilu, and of humanity itself. All of these can be considered as forms of art. How does that have any... Let me ask you this. What? <laughs> I suppose that question was a little too... To chance upon a spark of inspiration. Art is already... What? Who are you? You can't just go on the stage as you please. Ah, I see. Sorry for my... I'm just, uh, making a prop. Is that embroidered? No. Well, yeah, it's just, uh, some fabric. An ordinary piece of fabric that we use in a show. Uh, sorry. I really do need to focus and start working on it. What an... Oh, well, it's... Look! Nilu's back! Let's be... Sorry for the wait. I'll call everyone over. Let us give you a... <laughs> Maybe we really should have prepared a gift. Then we... As it is, all we can do is... Um... Maybe we shouldn't do this after all. I didn't do that great of a job. Oh, don't think like that. Remember our promise? We're going to give everyone a pleasant surprise. And besides, you've never attended a celebration event before. So this will be a great opportunity. Everyone will love you. I'm still... not really sure about this. There's nothing to be worried about. 
Just take a step forward and give yourself a chance. There aren't any scary people here, right? Right. Huh. All right. Maybe this will help. Everyone, over here! W wait wait I've already said that I'm not ready yet. Take it easy and relax. Dave breath. If you don't say anything, then all the hard work we put into embroidery practice would have gone to waste. Using it as a gift, though? It really isn't that good. So when Inaya was talking about making a prop, she was actually preparing a present. Yeah, it feels like she still doesn't really see herself as part of this community. But it looks like Milu's trying to ease her through. Actually, Inaya had prepared a special present for everyone before the celebration kicked off. Woohoo! We're gonna get our first... Pipe down! The louder you all are, the more nervous she'll become. You've worked on it for so long, so have some confidence. You've got this! Uh, is Mr. Zubair here? Sheikh Zubair, this is an urgent notice from the Academia. This celebration, or whatever it is, must stop at once. What a condescending guy. What's his deal? Since Zubair Theater has long violated the Academia's policies and orders, we have decided to demolish it. As its manager, you must halt all operations and dismiss all staff members within 30 days. After which, you will report to the Academia for further punishment. Why? Why force us to do this all of a sudden? Little girl, this is not the first time you've been issued a warning. I didn't hear anything about demolition the last time I asked. And now I suddenly only have 30 days? We have more shows planned, but it's impossible to do anything in just 30 days. That issue is of no concern to me. You seem to understand the situation quite clearly. Perhaps you can ref- Demolition? Why do they want to demolish this place? The Academia has never liked us. And they've never respected our work. To them, what we do is all a waste of time. This isn't the first time they've come by, but our audience isn't the Academia. It's the people of the Grand Bazaar! If our shows are too difficult to understand, or too removed from everyday life, nobody would watch them anymore. Changing our content would not only mean turning our backs on our vision, it would also directly lead to the loss of our livelihood. Yeah, the theater is very important to each and every one of us. Hmm, the way they're doing things is so scummy! But I also don't know how we can stop them. I do not wish to explain everything again from the beginning. Time is of the essence, so you should act with haste instead of asking frivolous- But none of us plan to accept this. Such an abrupt notice is contrary to established policy. Ask whoever you will. The answer will remain the same. We have already given you sufficient notice. Enough! Does your audacity know no limits, father? Huh? Father? What academia? This is all because you don't like Zubair Theater. You're just using the academia's name to threaten us. Let me tell you, even if you manage to tear down this place, nothing is going to change. You've always been awful. But even I never thought my father would sink this low. This is strictly business. It doesn't... Or what you think. I hope you all have not been irrevocably blinded by folly. I will not waste more time on pointless arguments. Wrap everything up. And make preparations to shut down at once. Ah. Why is he always like that? This is quite the misfortune, but there's nothing we can do. That's it for today, everyone. Let's clean up. I'll go talk to them again tomorrow. <sighs> the storms that come out of the blue are always the hardest to deal with. <sighs> they get more and more unreasonable with each passing. I have to think of. S Is this place gonna get. No! I don't. Oh. 
Oh, shh, don't cry. Why couldn't he just have a good faith discussion with us? There's always room for compromise. Well, if there really was, then we wouldn't be in this predicament. Sorry. My father is always... <sighs> Sorry. I invited you thinking this was going to be a happy occasion. I didn't know that things would turn out like this. There's no need to apologize, Nilu. No one could have seen this. Is what that guy said true? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Knowledge is king in Sumeru, and their pursuit of it leaves no room for the arts. But if that's all it is, there's also no reason to go so far as to demolish the theater. After Inaya ran away from home, I brought her here to Zubair Theater. She really talks about her family. I never expected it to blow up like this. If you did nothing wrong, then there's no reason to listen to the... Who cares? Let's just take him in a fight! Uh, I'll try to think of something. What to do, what to do... Can you pretend to shut down, but secretly continue to hold your shows somewhere else? Or we could go through a list of customers and try to see if anyone in there might be willing to help out. Uh, a debate? Huh. Well, scholars do love to use them to solve their problems, but how would that work in this case? If we can prove to Inaya's father that the Academia's position doesn't hold water, then they won't have a reason to demolish the theater! I see. Defeating him in a debate. It's a good idea, but which one of us could hope to win against a researcher? Huh? Me? No, 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 no. I, I can't debate. Nilu, you are only so stressed out right now because you care so much about protecting the theater. I... this theater holds a special meaning and... but I just don't know. Can I really... Paimon will help too! Thanks, you t All right. I've decided. Even though I may fail, I'll do my very best for everyone's sake. That's our Nilu! Okay. Let's hit the... <laughs> Trying to best the academia in a debate is attempting the impossible. If you really want to try, I won't stop you. It's not like our situation can get any worse. I don't think it's entirely hopeless. To Sharif, neat things might turn out differently from what you expect. I am in favor of such a romantic feat. No playwright will turn down a compelling underdog. Sure, in fiction, but I'm not sure how... Uh, I'm not saying that I don't... Anything is better than just standing aside and watching the theater get demolished. I'm also pitching in. Let's show the Academia that we have some fight in us. Thank you, everyone. Not to rain on your parade. But my father is a real hard guy to deal with. He's erudite, meticulous, demanding, and exceedingly fam- You all already knew that. When all said and done, aren't you hurting her just the same? That's enough, Inaya! <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I just can't force myself to expect a positive outcome. Yeah! It's right! You're right, Inaya. We're up against the Academia. Everyone knows that they're very powerful. Being skeptical might actually be the more normal response, but I still want to try. I'm reluctant to just let Zubair Theater go. And it's not just me. I think everyone else here feels the same way. Say what's on your mind, and do what you think should be done. If we fail after that, then at least we won't have any regrets. I mean, after all, the only thing we can control right now is our choice at this- I understand what you're trying to say. I also have my own intense feelings of- Then, could I trouble you to tell- You can still get in touch with your family. Yes. Then, please help us pass on my request. But since we've decided on a debate, I'll do my best to prepare for it. 
I'll gather everyone's thoughts and let them be known to all during the debate. I, by myself, definitely don't have enough wisdom to beat your father. But what about the entire theater combined? Then we should have a chance, right? Right. That's right, Miss Nilu. Beat the fat guy! Justice, make him eat dirt! <laughs> you two. We aren't getting into a fight. But thank you for your encouraging words. I'll do my best. Well said back there, Nilu. I felt that I might have said a bit too much. Anyway, we better start preparing now. First, let's see what everyone thinks about the situation. Alright, time to pull every- Mr. Zubair, we're trying to put together a list of arguments that might be useful. It won't be difficult to explain our position. They're in the wrong, and I have meticulously managed this theater's affairs for years, and I have abided by every procedure and obtained every permit. I did all of that to protect ourselves if something like this were to occur. I didn't... E yes, I know. But anyone who's staying at the theater is one of us. If I can't even protect the members of the theater from outside pressure, then I have failed in my duty as a manager. In summary, you need sufficient confidence and strict adherence to the rules. At least for now, they don't have the authority to demolish the theater. As long as you double down on that point and force them to concede it, you'll gain an advantage. All right, got it. <sighs> I've seen many situations like this before. The Academia sure likes to get its nose into... While you prepare for the debate, I will also prepare the theater for the potential... Once you're done chatting, do me a favor and... Tell our customers that we're canceling all of our shows. Do we really have to? Right now, no one's in the right frame of mind to perform. I have to consider both our staff and our customers. This is... Nilu, with your talent and youth, you had the least to lose out of all of us. And yet you were still the first to take a stand. I've never thought about leaving your theater, Mr. Zubair. I truly love this place, and I want to keep dancing here. I also want to keep dancing with everyone else. You're becoming more and more... Do your best. We'll do all that we can, and leave the rest to fate. Hey! My teacher. <sighs> Life gained Inaya was right. It wasn't out of pity or any... After all, Nilu was like the terrible part. She knows better than any of us. If we have time later, no one is allowed to bully Miss Neil. Watch out, Mr. This just came out of nowhere. Beats me. Everyone else must also be at. When the day comes, I'll get my friends and the theater's customers to come and support Nilu. If anything goes wrong, I'll have them scream and shout and drown out whatever Sharif says. Uh, I can't do that? I didn't expect you all to challenge the Academia. That reminded me of my younger years. Back then, I feared nothing and no one, and I was always charging into the most dangerous of places. I can't do things like that anymore, but those were some of the best times of my life. Sorry. If the theater really ends up getting demolished, then you, Soreen, and Abby will all... It's alright. There's no need to think such heavy thoughts. Even if the building gets demolished, its people will still all be here. Have faith in the resilience of an adventurer. We can always figure something out. But won't you have regrets if things just come to an abrupt end? It'd be like when you were forced to stop adventuring. Ah, oh, so that's what you were worrying about. Relax. I've had a lot of experience with regret. Things are painful at first, but as they say, time heals all wounds. Look at us now. Serene and Abi are happy, and Serene has also just passed his theater exam. 
He can start acting soon. He was thrilled. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for- Are you trapped? Yes, but I truly do mean what I say. Being here at the theater has taught me an important lesson. The most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. I can choose to believe that my life ended with my husband's death, or I can choose to believe that it was a blessing in disguise for Serene and Abi. Similarly, even if this theater disappears, a new beginning might just be around the corner. Good and bad are all human-made concepts. It all depends on how we choose to see things. You have a point. Nilu. I know how important Zubair Theater is to you. But you don't have to be so nervous. We're all here with you. The theater won't go down so easily. Thank you, Miss Raycar. No need to thank me. If anything, you inspired me with your bravery. You might have what it takes to become an excellent adventurer. Y you're too kind. All right, I gotta cheer up. I can't waste everyone's words of encouragement. <sighs> I feel a lot better. <laughs> Good. My children and I will be cheering you on at the debate. <sighs> I've been I was right. It wasn't out of after all. I'd be a terrible she knows better. So, you've already developed some prejudices against me. Oh! I'm a listen- Although, I know not if you have a new answer to my previous- What do you think is the meaning of art? Uh, this is We probably do need to tackle this question. I don't know how to explain it. Does that count as a me- You answered him so serious- No, no. Nilu's answer far surpasses your- The meaning of art comes not from its- In other words, only art that can be appreciated by others will impart its essence and value upon the minds of its audience. This is something that the Academia can never understand. I once pursued the mastery of art, much like how a researcher would chase wisdom and knowledge. However, the more of a connoisseur I became, the less I felt I understood. I began to question what it truly meant for art to be understood at all. I found that I could comprehend even the most complex and sophisticated of works, and yet somehow that provided me with little solace. I remained even perplexed about this conundrum until I visited this theater and watched one of Nilu's performances. It was that life-changing? Everyone here had a joyous part in the overall experience. The actors upon the stage basked in the love of their audience, while those in the house immersed themselves in the wondrous ambiance. In all honesty, from a purely critical point of view, the performances here are exceedingly average. Hey, don't say something like that. But what bewildered me, I realized that I left the soap. Art will no longer be a castle if art cannot... When you put it, Mr. Zubair and I... To put it simply, we... I once stood in the spotlight. I care not for where my feet may take me next. But Nilu, you already stand. You cannot give it up. I understand. Dust the cobwebs... He really seemed to care a lot about the theater. Once you get to know him, you'll realize that he's actually a big softy at heart. You're here. Is the theater actually closing? He's been worried sick for a while now. H hey, you too. Uh, what exactly happened? Yes. He told us that we have to shut down the theater within 30 days. And what the heck? That came with no warning. <sighs> They're messing with us again. Don't tell me you'll have to listen to him. Come on. You know the answer. Yeah, it is a direct order from the- There's no need to worry, though. If I win, we might be able to overturn things- Really? Mine too! Yeah, 
Good thing they have- Yeah, they need to touch- Exactly. Don't worry. Everyone here- Right. If they don't believe that- Maybe you can pre- mm. Ignore him. No matter what- Thank you all so- There are always more- huh. I feel like the pieces are starting to fall into place. Let's head back to the theater and organize our thoughts. Abby? Have you seen Miss Inaya? No, Miss Nilo. Miss Inaya isn't back yet. Wasn't she just passing on a message? Uh, oh no. Traveler, Paimon! I think I've messed up big time. What if Inaya never planned to come back? What? It's just a gut feeling, but knowing her, she, she probably thinks that all of this happened because she was staying here. Oh, right. As soon as her father showed up, she said that her father was targeting her. So she's felt like that this whole time. She has a long-standing conflict with her father. She doesn't think that we can win the debate. And she doesn't want to implicate us. So she thought leaving was the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. And then she just quietly left. Exactly. She's being too pessimistic. How will you know if you don't try? Anyway, first things first. We have to get her back. But where should we stop? I think I might know. Let's start by before I brought her to Zubair Theater. She was staying at a remote campsite. If she has nowhere else to go after leaving the theater, she might go back and strike out on her own again. Then let's go take a look. Yes. that someone had stayed here very... But we can't confirm if it was Inaya or not. Let's take a look around... <sighs> Did you hear that? I heard it too. Let's investigate. in this area, but sorry. Why did you leave by yourself? You really don't think we have a chance at winning the debate? No. I just thought it would take too much effort. Everything happened because of me. If I'm gone, then the situation will resolve itself. Yeah! Everyone's working together towards a happier ending! No- It's alright if it's me. As long as the theater won't get demolished. You guys are the kindest people I've ever met. You shouldn't suffer so much because of me. Listen to me. Even if you were the reason that all of this happened, no one would blame you. Mr. Zubair said that you're one of us, so that means we will protect you. No matter what happens, we'll stand as one. Nilu, there will always be a victim. Whether it's me 
Or the theater. You can't, you can't win a debate against the academia. Especially since your opponent will be my father. My father is an extremely demanding man. He's always wanted me to become an exceptional researcher and his academic successor. I tried my best to meet his expectations and did everything I could. But he still wasn't satisfied. Or rather, he had just never been satisfied with me. I'm no genius. But, yeah. So that's why you ran away from home? At first, I thought the father would slowly come to terms with reality. But he, he just wouldn't stop berating me. For one exam, I earned the third highest score. I thought that all my hard work had finally paid off. And that I could finally make father feel some modicum of... I even used the embroidery. I thought, even this daughter can make her father... I see. When we were embroidering your gift before, I didn't feel like you were... N yeah. Sorry for not bringing it up. I was tired of him yelling at me every day. All I... But... He was more angry than ever before once I'd given him my embroidery and told him my score. He flung my present to the side. You think you should be proud of third place? Reflect on why you weren't first. I forgot how long I'd cried for. I only remember my parents arguing. My mother all... They argued for such a long time. My father eventually stormed out and slammed the door behind him. I've completely given up. We're destined to never understand each other. How horrible! I don't think you can beat him in a debate. Because he doesn't even understand what kind of place a theater is. He can never understand the relationship performers have with their audience. His life is devoid of camaraderie or friendship. He just wants everything to happen according to his wishes, as if the world revolves around him. What we cherish, our little- It sounds like your past has had a huge impact on you. I understand, but when we were preparing for the debate, I heard something quite wise. Art must first be a priest. Mr. Zubair has been meticulously managed. The most important thing about it. Miss Raycar has gone through a lot in her life, but she told us that she's very happy to live at the theater now. Although she ran into misfortune, it led her down a new path in life. She sees that as a blessing. She told me that the most important thing in... Interpreter? I can sympathize with your unhappiness at home, but after you ran away, you ended up at the theater and became one of us. Those unhappy experiences allowed you to really cherish your bonds with everyone, and also gave you the opportunity to become friends with us. Don't let your past suffering keep you from the new life that you've worked so hard to find. Oh. Let the past stay in the past. When I ran away from home, I swore that I would leave my family conflicts behind. But you're right. Maybe you'll disappoint him, but that doesn't matter. Don't let go of the answer you've worked- That's right! If- You're right. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm not trying to meet his expectations. I can't afford to lose anything more. The debate will not only protect Zubair Theater, but also allow me to settle things with Father. Let's go. I know him very well. All right.
Well, I'm off to meet with him. Please wait here for me. Okay. Looking forward to your good news. <sighs> that should be everything. I'm not sure why, but... You were great when you talk like that during the de Thanks for that. But I still feel like it'll be an uphill battle. I need... Yeah. I'm acting as everyone's representative, so I'll need to act brave. Even if I won't feel like it. Huh? What's left? Huh? What a strange question. Isn't a theater just... A Wait. You're not asking what the theater does, but what it is. Let me think. Um... Got it! When we were trying to find a way to save the theater, we heard many stories not of the theater, but Zubair Theater is our reason for coming together. It connects us all in unique ways. In other words, it's like a bond. A bond? The theater provides money for Miss Raycar and her children, inspiration for Mr. Kasani. It also gives Inaya shelter from her family. It has brought us together after taking care of every single one of us. And its story won't end here. In the future, many more people will come to the theater and receive its blessing. And we'll all be there for them. Our warm, welcoming community will show them the same kindness we were shown in the past. Aside from the delivery of performances, isn't this another reason for Zubair Theater's continued existence? Yeah, that makes sense. We definitely felt that warmth during the preparations for the event. But... Paimon doesn't see how this will help in the debate. Oh, gotcha! No matter how strong an opponent is, they'll have to go on the defensive if pressed on a weak point. I feel like that's another prong in our attack. Thank you so much. Paimon also feels a lot more relieved. Let's show him what we got! Sorry for the wait. I'm back. Things went a lot more smoothly than I expected. It didn't take long for him to accept the debate. And it's set for two days from now. Why are you all smiling so much? Did something good happen? We realized that your dad might not be as scary as we had thought. <laughs> we just finished our prep. Rest easy. It will all turn out well. We have to win. No, we will win, Inaya. <laughs> Fingers crossed. with Nilu. Hopefully they were helpful.
Hello and welcome everyone. I am Safwan, a scholar from the Academia, and I will serve as this debate's adjudicator. I swear to judge both parties with the utmost wisdom and impartiality. I ask for both parties to stand. May the Dendro Archon also serve as a witness to this... Since you so desperately demand an explanation, I will expound on the Academia's stand. You may have misunderstood us from the outset and believe that the Academia is prejudiced against you. However, the truth is that the Academia wishes for every resident of Sumeru to be afforded opportunities to grow and cultivate their wisdom. Therefore, the works they consume should also possess enlightening qualities and intellectual value. We have failed to identify these qualities in the shows performed at Zubair Theater. In other words, instead of struggling against the Academia in pointless confrontations, if you had spent your time reflecting on improving the quality of your shows and enlightening your audience, Zubair Theater would not be today facing such a tragic fate. Aggressive from the get-go, can Nilu stand her ground? Calm down, Nilu. He said that we were shut down not because the acad- Everyone is free to appreciate art. No form of art is inherently super- In your eyes, our shows can't meet the Academia's expectations. Shouldn't it be the audience who decides if a show is intellectual or enlightening? Why is someone from the Academia judging that? Also, I believe that there is no such thing as a wiser or more enlightening performance. Art doesn't discriminate, and it appeals to all. A Appreciation is but a primitive form of satisfaction. Guidance and enlightenment are necessary if we are to induce growth in the performers as well. This stance holds performers to a higher standard and encourages the... If all performances are simple, nurturing the populace's understanding... He changed the topic without patting an eye. If I remember correctly... Art must first be appreciated by others to confer... Someone at our theater has tried that before. He was a famed artist, but he recognized that very few people could connect with his works. I agree that art should be enlightening. If a work can't tap into an audience's personal ex- What's the point of performing a show that its audience can't even follow? That would only be forcing people to watch something they don't like. You can only reach that conclusion from a place of ignorance. In that case, before passing judgment, you should first become a better dancer than me. You tell them, Nilu. Looks like he's backed himself into a corner. As the party holding the burden of proof, Sharif has failed to provide sufficient support for his judgment of the quality of Zubair Theater's pro- Likewise, the definition that Nilu put forth is but her personal opinion. Additionally, I must request that both parties exercise greater control- Keep it up, Nilu! You're doing- In that case, I shall speak of more concrete matters. This course of action is also completely procedurally sound. However, you have consciously ignored our warnings. That is indeed so, according to the laws decreed by the Academia. He started talking about procedural stuff. Mr. Zubair has already provided signed copies of all documentation related to our operations. Everything is perfectly filled out and valid. Although the theater's performances don't align with the Academia's requests, the law doesn't say that Zubair Theater can be demolished only because of that reason. Demolition notices need to be provided in writing and made available to the public. Failing to follow these rules makes your stance procedurally unsound. Yeah, that's right! There are different ways to apply the rules. So long as this matter is discussed within the Academia, this course of action will come to pass. Looking at the past 27 cases of similar nature, 90% of them support Sharif's claim and position. However, the demolition process in those cases was only started after discussion at the Academia. In other words, premature notice of demolition is indeed a rash act. That's more than enough. We've proven that the order is unreasonable as it currently stands. <laughs> Cease. Nilu's definitely won this point, right? You're right. Stay focused. Even if permission for demolition has yet to be obtained, it is a fact that your performances violated the Academia's policies on numerous occasions. Based on that fact, we can permanently revoke your right to perform in Sumeru. Uh, 
Under the current system, it is indeed possible to immediately revoke Zubair Theater. That's a thing? Rather than protecting Zubair Theater, I surmise that your true intention is to maintain your hold over your audience. Without them, Zubair Theater is nothing more than an empty building. And without its performances, the theater has nothing else of value. What you said isn't true at all. <sighs> Keep it cool, Nilu. Right. I need to keep calm, but he just a little more. Zubair Theater isn't... Zubair Theater isn't simply a performance venue to us. It means more than that. It's been our home for a long time. Miss Raycar can't go on adventures anymore. But she has found a stable career and a new life at the... Her son, Soren, has already passed his theater exam, and he'll soon be our newest member. Mr. Kasani found a new way to look at art. He decided to stay at the theater to watch us grow. Mr. Farhad and Mr. Hushong visit even when there isn't a show going on, and they always tell us lots of entertaining stories. Even Inaya wants to stay with us, and she's starting to look forward to a new future. Zubair Theater exists for them. Perhaps Zubair Theater has provided you with a multitude of positive emotions and experiences. However, you have misconstrued something. The interpersonal relationships you speak of were established upon normal theater operation. Sheikh Zubair operates the theater for his livelihood. Relationships are merely a byproduct in this exchange of interests. They may be pleasant and captivating, but they can only ever be secondary. When scholars collaborate to solve difficult problems, we freely share our knowledge and resources with one another as if we were all kin. However, this collaboration ends after the results of our work are published. The reason is simple. We are scholars, and there are new projects that await our attention. He really doesn't think much of relationships. Paimon also thinks he didn't- Sharif's argument is currently the more persuasive of the two. For this point, of the continuance of the interpersonal relationships Nilu spoke of remains hypothetical before the theater's demolition. Whereas the Academia has made significant academic contributions, in no small part due to its researchers' efficiency and ability to compartmentalize. Oh no! What should we do? Things are going in- A setup? Good. He said what he said. The next argument could decide this debate, but... Is... Inaya really wants to win. She doesn't want to lose anything else because of her painful past. She already agreed to this. She wants to win. Mr. Sharif believes that interpersonal relationships are a byproduct of working towards a goal. Once that goal is achieved or abandoned, those relationships would have no more reason to continue. Then, if someone has failed to live up to his expectation... If someone has failed to live up to your expectations and ran away from home... Then she shouldn't be your daughter anymore. Inaya! Sorry, Nilu. As expected, I should be the one to say it. Uh, <laughs> if in your eyes, the purpose of my existence is to become your academic successor, then that goal has ended in complete failure. By your logic, that means there is no more reason to sustain our relationship as- Members of the audience who do not belong to either debate party, please speak with caution. Let her speak. What she does not say, Nilu will. No matter how many disagreements we've had, you're so immersed in your own world, you can't understand why we come together for the sake of relationship. Yeah, don't look d You can watch a dance anywhere, but there's only one Zubair Theater. I'm almost starting to feel sorry for this guy. Order, order! Members of the audience, I confess that this is the final argument we had prepared. Disown me, and you will win the debate. But before that, Father, I have some final words to say. I've been doing some soul searching. Not about whether I should have run away from home, but whether there was any point to my personal rebellion against you. I kept trying to earn your approval, but I only disappointed you over and over. The truth is, I ran away from home as a means to vent my recurring frustrations. 
That is to say, I was exerting pressure on you. And hoping you'd give up on your lofty expectations. But by doing that, wasn't I just doing the same thing as you? Uh. <laughs> I won't force my expectations upon you anymore. At Zubair Theater, I have found the life I've always wanted. I will move on from my family troubles and strive towards my new goal. But if you dare to harm the- This is not the time to space out, Sharif. The debate is still underway. You already consider them to be your f You should be asking us that question! Of course we- Miss Inaya is a re- It was a bit of a process. Make no miss- All those who come to Zubair Theater become one of us! We will always be with her! <laughs> Such puerile simplicity. It is surprisingly a relief. Wait, what are you... Ah, uh, never mind. They... left? Does that mean we've won? We won? Neil, you're amazing! <sighs> I relaxed for a moment and... I feel a little faint. It looks like he still has a place for her in his heart. Terrific work, Nilu and Anaya! Didn't know you could get so- uh, this really took a lot out of me, though. Both Miss Nilu and Miss- Should we throw a second round? Oh, it's you. Yes, I feel a lot better. The more I think back on everything, the more surreal it all feels. I don't think I could repeat what I did a second time. Yes, and it's all thanks to you. <laughs> I see. You mean how fate brought me to the theater, right? Then I'll have to tell you about my teacher who Mr. Zubair had mentioned. Mr. Zubair opened his theater when I was still a child. There was a beautiful dancer, and from the moment I saw her, I couldn't look away. I thought to myself, the gods must have blessed her with such talent. But later on, she would actually smile down at- yeah. It is a beautiful- In other words, she wasn't looking for flowers and applause. All she wanted was to- Right! The same as what Mr. Kasani believes. I was completely moved by what she had said, so I started taking dance lessons from her. Before she retired, she told me, For as long as you live, never forget what dance means to others. This is why Mr. Zubair and I never intended to listen to the Academia. Even though it ended up causing everyone a whole lot of trouble, thankfully, everything worked out in the end. Although, I do have a small regret. Yeah, even though she has already decided to stop fighting with her father, they never managed before he left. Mr. Sharif looked like he had a lot on his mind. He probably has a lot of things he wants to say. But, yeah, you and Paimon are... <laughs> Who knows? Next time, you might see Inaya on the stage. Are you still worried about Inaya? Let's be sure to come back often. Who knows?
everyone. I'd like to introduce you to our newest member. Uh, help. She'll be dancing for us from now on. Inaya's taken her place up. Hmm. When you stop and think about it, happy endings like Nilu's efforts, everyone's wisdom, Inaya's determination. Huh? What do you mean by that? Hmm. The whole demolition thing was going overboard. If he really wanted to be rude, oh well. It's not like we can understand how people like him think. Huh? Wait. Look who the cat dragged in! Isn't that Inaya's father? Oh. It's... I don't have much to do today, so I just... Hmm. Are you looking... No. I am simply here to watch a performance. There is... Well, I was... My loss at the debate caused quite the loss of face for the academia. I use this opportunity to suggest that my superiors temper... Suspended? Yes, I am temporarily unemployed. However, I now have an abundance of time, so I... I admit that I do not understand the magic. I still cannot forget that young lady's perseverance. Inaya would almost cer... There are no parents who do not worry about their children. I suppose she managed to hit a weak spot of mine. Never mind. I... D You're already here! No. Do not tell her that I was here. Come on! Who knows if you'll get a chance like this again? Huh? But... but... Huh? Huh? You said you were going to make peace with your past. Show your father how much uh. you've grown. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Everyone at Zubir Theater has your back. Hmm. Uh. Hey, uh -huh. let's go somewhere else. We should give them some space. You sure they'll be okay? I don't know. But I think we should have faith in them. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, Inaya. I have something for you. I'm still learning. It's hardly a masterpiece. But it's yours, if you'll take it. Huh? Uh... You don't have to take it. It's fine. Uh, uh... Never mind. would have snuck away as well if I didn't drag her back. Do you think they'll be able to reconcile? I'm not sure. A complete reconciliation may also not be the best thing for them right now. All those years of arguments and misunderstandings can't be settled overnight. It might be best if they continue to keep some distance for now. But no matter where their hearts and bodies may be, they will always be family. All I wish for them is to be able to one day tap into the warmth of that bond. Oh, by the way, everyone's really thankful to you for helping out with the debate. So, we made you a little something. Hope you'll like it. Uh, isn't this... Whoa! This is a mi... <laughs> when Mr. Zubir and Mr. Kasani took charge of the design, Miss Raykar and Miss Nachia made and assembled the centerpiece. As adventurers, you two will doubtlessly travel to many more lands and see many more things. That's why we hope that your time at Zubair Theater will become a fond memory of your journey. You two are welcome back anytime. Mm hmm. We'll come back and watch you dance whenever we get the chance. You're welcome. And there's no need to be. Come on, take it. This is the story of you and. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 